Yeah, I mean, basically what we're, we're doing is we're trying to um, formulate a kind of new kind of funky music. Yeah. You know, kind of based on tradition, yeah. but um, playing kind of inside the groove. So it, it's it's this is a very new process. You guys are getting really the newest kind of uh, point of the band, just getting to know what we want to do. Um, Daryl and I grew up in Chicago together, and we learned kind of music, you know, on the same scene, and we played together. He went one way, I went another way. You know, he went more into the, you know, rock, playing with a lot of stars. I went in a way where I was playing my music, developing my CDs and everything, and uh, we always said we would come back together one time. Will, I know Will since he was a teenager. Will would come to the Village Vanguard when I was playing with Elvin Jones. Yeah. He was already uh, a drummer who was trying to, you know, come up. Then he got the gig with Living Color, became also a big star on the drum. We, we met at a, at a music convention in the United States in, um, in January. And just started, you know, talking like, man, we, we got to play together. We got to, you know, we got to make a place, you know. And so uh, I was telling him that I had been, that I was going to be playing with Will in Los Angeles maybe a few weeks after that show. And um, he said, you know, I play with Will, you know, we, you know, that's a, maybe the three of us together. And I said, no, that's great. That'd be wonderful, you know. So we just decided to, to try it. And we talked about it and things came together and, and here we are. And I think that his his um, his work is so connected to um, to the history of the blues and also to jazz, also to rock music, to African music. It's just so rich, you know. Yeah, you know, it's so rich. So I, I think um, it's a great opportunity for me. You know, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Well, I mean, I, the, the thing is, I really enjoy doing both, yeah. you know? Even with the Stones, it's great to play in a stadium, and then it's also great to play like in Paradiso yeah. with them, you know, because the audience is right there. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is true here. I mean, I, I really, I didn't know that there were so many clubs the size that we've been playing all over mm -hmm. Germany and Austria. So I'm imagining they're, they're everywhere. Do the Stones mm -hmm. still? Make music off the stage. Do you? Uh, I'm, I'm interested oh, in the constantly. situation. Uh, uh, do you sit together and, and make music? Yeah, musicians do. You know, musicians do. Musicians do. It's yeah. not. It's not just uh, business or yeah. anything yeah. with them. I mean, you know, yeah, I've been reading Keith's book, and, and yeah. one of the things that surprised me. I've always known that they knew a lot about blues music. Yes, of course. But reading the book, you realize how deeply they, how far they went in, how much they studied to get these things together. And uh, and uh, and like all musicians, man, they were, there's always jamming. You know, I was, with, I was with Keith a few weeks ago, and we're sitting there together, and before too long, he's holding a guitar, and I'm holding a guitar. And jamming, you know? So it's just, no, that's, that's gonna always be the case. It's always gonna be the case.